All right, I'm going to show you how the code is working so far. So what the user would do is when they've got Mach 3 running, they would come over and they would click the Auto Tool 0 right there. And then it's going to ask them if they want to zero just the Z or all three axis. And for this, let's say we don't want to do just the Z. We're going to do all three axis. And then it asks us for the tool. And we're going to tell it it's a point one two five inch. And then as soon as I hit this, it's going to start the operation. So I've got the block set up. Uh, slightly to the right, the, the tool is slightly to the right of the block. Uh, the Z is low enough to touch it and it's toward, you know, it's within a half inch or so of the rear top corner of it. So, it's going to run over, hits the edge, backs up. So now, so it's telling me my X, Y, and Z axis are all zeroed. So let's see if I tell it now to go to zero. And we'll click the go to zero button. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So that works pretty good. Um, so the way that they're going to do this is in Mach 3, you can come in to the operator menu, tell it you're going to go to the uh, edit button scripts, and then you have a couple different buttons you can put code behind. So the auto zero is one of those, so we put it behind there. Uh, so make that a full screen and then so basically they'll just paste this code in for this button so they'll just copy and paste the code we give them into here save it and then everything will be ready to go so as part of this at the top uh, they're going to set the actual plate thickness x and y widths of, of the plate um, right there and then everything else is pretty much done. Uh, they can change how fast the uh, the probe moves, you know, toward you know how fast the bit moves toward the plate when it's probing. I've got it set to uh, five inches per minute right now. Um, got a few track clearance, and it's got all the safety code in here to make sure that the uh, the probe is wired in correctly, it's not grounded out. Uh, we save their um, existing feed rate and we save their existing mode relative or absolute. And then down at the bottom, we put set it back to the way they had it before they did the zero. So I'll send you a copy of all this code. And I think it's I think it's working pretty good.